ushers, if you would attend to our folks, we're going to receive our morning collection. If you're a visitor, don't feel like you need to be a part of this time. We just want our members to get a chance to support the gift. It's so good to see each one of you here today. Carolyn, good to see you. Just recovering from being in the hospital. Many back from college. Good to see you. Awesome. Christmas, we like to give an opportunity where we recognize a few people that have been serving in our student ministries. And these folks, they coordinate some of the real vital organs of the ministry at Harvest. They're the ones that do scheduling and, and do teaching and activities for our young people our children and even our young adults so every Christmas I wish we could send them on a cruise or something to really acknowledge them in a way that's worthy of the give, the giving that they do all year long but we do want to give a little gift I'm going to start off with giving honor to the mothers too and giving appreciation to a couple that moved here from Colorado to work with our kids and to see our family grow up together. Would you recognize and appreciate Arden and Jamie right now? to minister for the Lord, even at a young age. He was very similar to me in that he started working with young people real early. And I remember the day that I asked Terry and Linda permission to ask their son if it was all right if I asked him to begin working with our young people in a leadership role. Up until then, Brother Kevin Darmafal was leading that youth group. And when Kevin said that he was going to resign, we looked to see what our next step would be and who the Lord would raise up, either from without or from within. And I really felt the decision we needed to make at that time was to promote this young man named Justin Burchette into leadership in our youth ministry. And I can tell you, I don't know how many years it's been, always is more than I remember. Over five years, honestly, was that an awesome thing God did for us. Would you just thank the Lord for Justin? people don't get recognized nearly as much as they should. They're serving. They're giving. You don't know what goes into leading ministry and having to preach. There's probably only 1% of you that understand some of what goes on when you're called to minister. You still have a job. You still have a family. You still have all those things. But then on top of that, you're having to hear from God to give a word 
every week sometimes. I know the heralds and the children's ministry have rotation of teachers. But for many that are here, they have to teach consistently. And it's, it's a challenge to get a word from God each week and to, to minister that. And I can vouch for Justin. When he's teaching teenagers, sometimes those kids are excited and smiling and happy. And then there's a whole bunch of times when they're just there. And you don't know from their faces if they're getting anything. But you keep preaching that word into them. You keep sowing that seed, just like a farmer would. And if you adults could look to my right and your left, these young people are some of the most awesome young people that I've ever seen in youth, youth ministry in my, my years. And I'm thankful for them. It's, it's not, you know, it's a combination. Of your parenting has been the basis and foundation for that. I'm not downplaying that. I'm saying that youth pastoring, and many times it's just watering the seeds that the parents have sown. But in some cases, as Justin could testify, there's some kids that aren't getting it at home, that sort of guidance. So they come to youth group, and they're getting, for the first time, the teachings of God's Word. A few years ago, Jesse Burchette uh, came and, and felt the comfort and the, the peace of God to lead our young adults ministry called Exodus. And just behind the scenes, sometimes they do activities, sometimes they have discussion, but they're just a group that meets together on Monday nights or as often as they can. And uh, I said, Jesse, if you feel the leading to do that, of course, what our young people need after they graduate from high school is a place to go if they're going to stay local a place to congregate a place to get together and that group of course as you know it can fluctuate sometimes they have a big number sometimes they just have a few because of college people i always think that college people are more, more no, notorious than anyone at weighing their options right whenever whenever that night comes it's like what are my options? And they get to that night of going to Exodus, and so they're thinking about what else is going on. But he's been faithful to lead this group for our church, and I appreciate him. Would you just thank him for... I told somebody, I sure hope they like these nuts that we get, or else it's going to be a waste. Thank God. Let's pray over our giving right now. We're going to lead you in one more carol before we continue on. Go ahead if you can. Lord, we give you thanks now. You, are, you gave the gift of all gifts. Father God sent down his perfect son in the form of a humble child. Now we give our gifts to you in our life, in our service, in our time, in our love, and also in our substance. So we thank you, Father, for the giving this Christmas that we can give. Even like a little drummer boy who didn't have much to give, gave what he could. And that's what we do as well. We give what we can to honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Go ahead, ushers. before we sing Little Drummer Boy together. Tomorrow at 7 o'clock, the church will be open for a showing of Nativity. The movie will be shown here as it has been the last two Monday nights. If you'd like to come and join, we'd love to have you. There's popcorn as well as some, some water and trust that you'll enjoy watching the nativity here at the church. Our family, do we have Christmas cards? Okay. We, we have a card for you from us. It just got produced this week, so we got to stuff it in envelopes, and we want to get it to you as soon as we can. But 
we do have that from our family to each family here in the church. Um, just a way of us saying we appreciate you as a family. And then midweeks. We will not have midweeks, of course. Next Wednesday, this Wednesday is Christmas, then New Year's Day. And then the next time we'll see the youth and the adults show up will be January the 8th. But there is one big youth event. It's one of the biggest of the year. Who can tell me what that is? I guess they don't know what that one is. The game night. Thank you. The game night. January the 4th. Put that on the calendar. 